Frida, how are you? How, are you? how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. How's it going? Absolute pleasure. Um, look, congratulations on season two of Ghost and indeed your performance. You know, it feels like we've sort of watched you grow up in front of the camera, really, because I think your first big acting role was in what was it an episode of the twilight zone when you were about 10 oh, oh yeah that was that was my first that was my actual first professional i was doing like little stuff in performing arts but you're right back in 1985 they did a reboot of the twilight zone series and i i was a little kid and and had like one line and it was a christmas show and it was all kind of twilight zone and strange and, yeah and spooky yeah. and so I was there and um but at that time I I didn't you know I I was just happy to be on set and be kind of experiencing what it was would be like to be on a, a on a movie set had no idea that you know years later uh it would become a part of my my life's journey to, as an actor absolutely because then you were in things like 21 jump street and you were yeah. in the years yeah. but this, this is all a bit different i mean playing <laughs> councilman tate is certainly a million miles away from the wonder years should we put it that way um how would you describe him oh wow yeah so councilman tate is a um a, a person who's looking to move up the political ladder and will do anything that is necessary to accomplish his goals. And that means he would go as far as creating any kind of agenda to uh, either remove people uh, himself or in some kind of creative way. Uh, he's certainly determined and, and um, motivated. Uh, he's someone who really believes that he should be in a place of power and a position to have some sort of um, influence over, over, over people. Now, the role actually started off in a fairly small way because um, yep. it was firstly in the original series of Power. Mm -hmm. And then in Ghost, it started off with, you know, just a, a few episodes. And now in this season... It's grown hugely, but I wondered what made you want to play the role right from the start? Well, uh, interesting story. Um, I had been casted to play another role on uh, the original Power series. I was supposed to play Terry Silver, who was a uh, lawyer who was trying to get the ghost character out of jail and eventually falls in love with Ghost's wife, Tasha. That was originally my role, but I was off working on another show uh, and I couldn't do it. And so I called up the creator of the show, Courtney Kemp, and said, listen, I feel really bad that it didn't work out. I'd love to come on as a guest star on an, one episode. Whatever you want me to do, I'm there. And she called back and said, listen, I have uh, uh, something really interesting and it's going now. Like, are you available? I'm like, yeah. She says, but it's not one episode. It's four. And this is season four of uh, power and we have four episodes and I said yeah sign me of course my agents and managers reps at the time went crazy how are you gonna just agree to do something without good consulting with us I said because I, listen I know what I'm it's doing I wanna, I, yeah and, and now 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 thank okay, goodness I did now. make the call right <laughs> and, and so and so and uh again it, it was a real this was something that I didn't foresee and um they allowed me to sort of interpret Rashad take the kind of way that um, I thought he would, uh, you know, be engaging in some kind of way. He's the type of guy who walks into a room, he's smiling, he's high fiving, he's hugging everyone and he's got something to say and he's going to change your life and he's going to make it right. But he can switch and he can really go deep and he can get into a whole nother place that makes what the show is all about, about power and control and you know, the fact that, uh, you know, they're willing to do anything um, to move move ahead. And in politics, I guess you I guess you kind of have to be that way. Um, may not go about it the way Rashad <laughs> has gone about it in the past. But, you know, no, no, no but you got either you're going to either you're going to eat or you're going to be eaten. I always say that it's like, you know, you, you got to you have to uh, make sure that no one stops what, you, what you're doing. And if you can have a connection with the people, 
you know, go for it. So in this season, you're a regular. And of course, mm-hmm. the, the role has grown hugely. Yes. I mean, how, yeah. how has he developed since the start? And also, you know, what were the challenges there for you as an actor? Well, um, he finds himself engaged with more of uh, the main characters, um, like the, the Tariq, uh, who's played by Michael Rainey Jr. So uh, they cross set quite a bit. And even though in the original series, my character dealt a lot with James St. Patrick, Tariq's father, it's almost like, is this going to be the same relationship? Because they were um, competitors, they were rivals. And so now we're in a position to see if you know, this is going to be the same kind of rivalry between both Rashad and um, Tariq. And I can't give any spoilers away, but it's it's fireworks and it's a, a it's a lot of great uh, storytelling between these two. And for me, it's just a joy to to work when the writing is on the page and you have the support of the creator of the show and the support of the directors and producers to really just um, interpret the character the way I think he should be, and they write to some of my choices. And, and you know, I, I get a chance to, to talk and speak with the writers and they say, when they're writing the words, they can actually hear my voice. They can like, I can hear oh. him. He would say this. And to me, it's an indication that we're on the same page, we're locked in, right? And so it's just seamless at that point. And, you know, in the past you have to do, you know, roles where you have to work a little harder. You're trying to, you know, figure it all out. Well, I played the character for some time now, and that's the beauty about being on a series that you um, can really find nuances that you probably didn't um, do in the past or you didn't have the um, the uh, the ability or the access to do it or the safe space to do that. Because as artists, we you know, we we want you have to try things and you want to make sure that people can trust you um, so you don't second guess yourself. And sometimes that happens. And this is not the case here on, on, on the Ghost uh, Show. We, they encourage what we bring um, to the table and it's liberating. So it's really nice to have that. Which, which is great to have that input. But of course, as well as season two on Ghost, there's a bit more to come for you, isn't there? Because <laughs> Ghost is just one of a series of spin-offs from Power. And there's another one coming up, which... I think it's quite a big one for you. I think it's number five. Yeah, is, well, yeah. They, um, they, power they, five <laughs> influence, which is essentially going to be about Cancer and Tate. You know, um, there. Yes. Far, how far down the road are you on that one? You know, um, all I all I can say is that we have decided to really just focus on season two and take one thing at a time, and that works for me because. Um, as opposed to sort of getting ahead of ourselves, there's so much more that I think they wanted to explore coming from the original power cast. They wanted to continue to explore some of that and incorporate that into, um, you know, season two. And I'm happy to, you know, I'm your guy. If you need me to come and be a part of the original uh, cast members to come in and, and, and sort of uh, find some interesting storytelling in this world, and sort of build out whatever is to potentially come, I'm happy to do so. Um, so again, we are not getting ahead of ourselves. We're staying focused here. And there's a lot of great things um, that, you know, you'd want to see um, in a, uh, a, a an, another installment that you're going to be able to see some of that uh, materialize in season two. So that's still very much in the pipeline. Well, wh- one question I've got to ask you, though, um, Assuming you were voting in an election, would you actually vote for Councilman Tate? <laughs> you know what, Frida? You, that's a good question. You put me on the spot. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I thought I could anticipate you've somebody. You've got insider knowledge on this guy anyway. <laughs> Let's just say that I would like to vote for him. I certainly would like to vote for him because I believe but that... Would you? <laughs> Knowing that, now hold up, now now the guy that I don't know about, 
I would vote for. The guy that's on the surface that I don't know. But the Rashad that the viewers know, I don't know if I'm a push. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm like this. Uh, do I, do I want to? Oh, man, Rashad, man. Do, if, 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 will I regret this? And so um, it's great. For, for, that's an awesome question, by the way. But personally, the guy that has present himself, I would vote for just because representation. And I think, you know, this young guy, he seems relatable. I would, I would vote for him. Absolutely. But knowing some of the things that I know and we know about that he's doing that the world doesn't know, probably not. Here's the deal. I probably have voted for people that are in office, you know what I'm saying? Over the last 10, 15, 20 years, I voted for, you know, that if I know, really knew who they were, you go near them. I probably wouldn't even, yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so the same I'm, thing. I'm not in the slightest bit sorry about putting you on the spot because that was a great <laughs> start. Thank it's been you. lovely to talk to you. Really appreciate your time. Um, and good luck with the series. I and of course, you. number five as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Take care. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!